Hey guys, so uh, doing something pretty cool. We're going to be doing a four-part interview series. We're going to start with Davis, who's an intern at wayup.com. He's a uh, software intern, so he's doing a lot of coding. It's his second year doing this, and he's been um, just loving it. And it's, it's pretty cool to get the perspective of an intern, how he got started, what his experience level was uh, going forward, and what he actually does on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're going to start with Davis. After that, we're going to go ahead and move on to a back-end engineer. And then after that, we're going to go to the head of pro product, who is also a full-stack developer, does mobile, does web applications. And then finally, we're going to work our way up to uh, JJ, who's the way up CTO. So we're going to start at the bottom, work our way to the top. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments. And I'll make sure to ask them moving forward. But um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Code everything. So uh, why don't we start out, Davis, why don't you kind of introduce yourself and um, where your internship is at and those sort of things. Yeah, sure. So my name is Davis Haupt. I'm about to be a senior at high school in New York City. Um, I'm interning at Way Up, which is a online marketplace for college students to find job, part-time jobs during the school year, internships, full-time jobs once they graduate. Um, yeah, so this is the second year that I'm doing an internship at Way Up. Uh, last year it was great. I was working there. It was a great experience. I'm just wrapping up my internship this year, and it's uh, it's been a lot of fun so far, and I've been really enjoying it. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so you said it was your second year. So how did you, in your first year, how did you kind of find out about the internship and how did it come to be? Sure. So actually, um, my sister actually went to school with the two founders of Way Up, JJ and Liz. I actually lived with Liz during um, school and um, was one who actually designed the first logo for the first business that they did together. So that was sort of a way that um, I, I knew Liz through that. And I actually, I last year I wanted to really get involved in sort of doing um, programming at a startup and I knew Liz was sort of in the know in a lot of ways with the different people and with, with different people in the industry. So I sent her my resume and I asked her to sort of send that around to different people. But um, then she took a look at it and then JJ, who's the CTO, took a look at it and uh, they liked what they saw. So then they asked me for an interview and then I interviewed, I had a few interviews and then uh, they asked if I could come on for the summer. Nice, nice. Networking is always <laughs> a great way to uh, get your foot in the door. People yeah. are always asking me, oh, how do I, you know, how do I get an internship? How do I get this and that? And the easiest thing is really talk to people that you know and mm -hmm. try and see if they can help you out while still going the traditional route of like applying and like looking and just trying and just really being hungry for it. But networking is always one of the best ways to go about that. Yeah, definitely. It was, it was good to have a sort of a, have a shoe in there. It was nice. Yeah, and so um, you said that you're interested in software, and that's kind of is your your internship kind of revolve around that a little bit, or what 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 do you kind of typically do in a day as as an intern? Sure. Yeah. So uh, I'm a, I'm an intern on the engineering team um, with one other intern this summer, and basically just to walk you through a day, we get into the office, and the first thing we do when everyone gets in the office is we have a morning stand up where everyone sort of goes around and says what they did yesterday. Um, and then what they're planning on doing today. So you guys, you guys uh, follow like agile sort of principles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's not, it's not like directly like Scrum in terms of just everything like that, but it's uh it's uh we kind of um, uh, try to keep it so everyone's on the same page at all at all times, which is really helpful. Um, and then once we do, once we've uh, gotten through that and everyone's sort of on the same page, um, um, right now I'm working on a pr um, a pretty large project. Um, but sometimes I'll either just pick up some tasks off the backlog that are like either bugs or um, like small features that need to get done and I'll work on that for most of the day or if I'm working on a larger project then I'll meet with people that I need to meet with about that and I'll work on that um, for most of the day. And then um, yeah, so basically um, most of the day I'd say I'm programming. We, uh, use, uh, we use sort of Django and Python for that um, and then um, I'm doing mostly back-end stuff so that's that, um, and yeah. So it's really it's really great experience because I'm able to actually get my hands on code a lot of the time, which is yeah. something that I didn't really expect at the beginning of the internship last I, summer. I wasn't really expecting you to be so hands on with it, to be honest with you. But that that's actually really impressive that you're in there and you're you know clearing tickets and doing everything and coding mm -hmm. and I because I uh, my I I had one internship. Um, at like a web design thing, and it was absolutely like the gruntiest grunt work of a of a of an internship you could imagine. It's like do these content changes? It's awful. So I'm glad to hear that you're you're actually doing some fun stuff. Man. 
that's that's great. Mm -hmm. Any, uh, you said you're working on a big project. Any details you can say about it? I know sometimes people are kind of secretive about these things. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure what I can sort of share, but I can talk about something that uh, I've finished in the past that's sort of gone live Perfect. this year. Perfect. Um, so basically, one of the one of the things that I worked on um, earlier this year was sort of adjusting how um, how businesses actually post a job in terms of the descriptions that they're the descriptions that they're giving and also um, sort of how everything looks. So um, again, like a little bit more of the grunty work stuff in terms of like there were some copy changes, but it was also really interesting because it was more on the front end, which is something I hadn't really been working on in a lot um, that much. So uh, it involves sort of adding some overlays and doing some um, and doing some changes on that side, which really it actually make made it a lot simpler for businesses to actually understand what kind of job that they were posting to the site and um, what season they were posting the job for, so that it's a lot more straightforward for them actually going through the process and then. That sort of gives the sales reps less to have to sort of explain when everything's on the site. That was a project that um, um, I took up and sort of met with the people, met met with some of like the project managers who sort of helped me through um, what the specs for the project were, and then sort of just took that on and did all the did all the um, the JavaScript and CSS to sort of get that in the right in the um, right um, uh, format. Sorry, um, and then push that out the door, and that's been live for a few weeks. That's been great. Nice, man. It's all. It's always great when you actually get something out that's working. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I've never... I think, yeah, I find it like really cool when I can actually go on the site and see something that I've done. Like there was Earl. The first thing I did this year was just changing how a little checkbox look looked so it looked normal. That was just like a, a, a half a day long thing. Except actually going on the site and seeing the checkbox how it's supposed to look is it's pretty good. It's a pretty good feeling. Yeah, it's nice to see like oh man, people are actually seeing my work, seeing the things getting done. And like, mm -hmm. it's like, ah, oh, cool. It's a, it's a physical, tangible feel because up until then, it's just code. Like, it's just yeah. something. Um, so it sounds like um, you've been doing quite a bit of coding before the internship. Just kind of for people who might be interested in software internship, can you kind kind of maybe talk about um, what your experience is software wise that that led you to be able to get such a advanced internship? I guess. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I'd say I started learning how to program around five years ago. It actually started with me and a friend. We wanted to, we just Googled like how to make a computer virus, and clearly that's not going to give you any like good in, in, in intel onto how to make an actual computer virus. But it got us to like this YouTube video that sort of showed us how to make like this prank thing, and then I sort of followed that up with just um, the the that that guy on YouTube just had a bunch of other videos. So then I watched I watched those, and then. Um, I went through some some other um, some other YouTuber um, actually had a ton of videos on Java programming, so I decided to uh, sort of go into that after um, after actually talking with the um, I talked a lot with the uh, owner of the YouTube channel from the first videos that I was watching. He got into contact with me. Actually, it was kind of interesting. He had like put out a side project that was like an IM chatbot, and I was talking to that, and then he was. In fact, that's how he got like my contact info, and he was like, "Oh, you're the first person who's actually like looked at this. Who's not someone that I know? Like, who are you?" So it was kind of interesting, sort of learning, uh, uh, meeting someone through that sort of channel. I talked to him a lot about sort of how he um, approached learning how to program, and then once I decided like to do Java, I sort of um, watched actually YouTube videos a lot on how to do that, and that's sort of how I got my foot in the door with that. And then um, Python, which is what I'm using for the uh, um, for my internship this summer. I learned through uh, Udacity had a few classes on how to first like just intro to Python and then another class they had on um, web development which was uh, taught by actually the uh, CEO of Reddit which was really cool um, just watching videos on that so a lot of a lot of videos and a lot of interactive stuff online was how I learned for the most part nice that's really what I tell people is one of the cool things about programming is if you're willing to you know devote your nights and weekends and kind of mm -hmm. just buckle down and stick to it you can once you actually can make a product and people can see that you're capable, you know, doors will open. It's uh, yeah. if you have an impressive portfolio, they'll overlook some other things like lack of experience. So I'm glad you got started five years ago, man. That's that's really impressive. Yeah, thanks. Very interesting. I guess uh, let's all right. Let's jump back to the the intern topic. Um, sure. How would you, from like a uh, as someone who's got an internship from a networking standpoint what were you did you just kind of start doing looking or were you applying places or were you like did you do anything else or do you just say hey it's just hook it up like <laughs> how did it go about um well i sort of 
Um, because obviously like being in high school, there's not too many like official channels in, in terms of getting internships uh -huh. because most, like the, in, like I started looking probably around February. Um, and most sort of like big companies that have internship programs, first of all, they're, they're for college students. And second of all, they sort of wrap up around February instead of starting around February. Um, Oh, uh, uh, some other summer plans. And I was sort of trying to, at that point, just trying to maybe fill in a few more weeks. But then um, when I was able to sort of, I, my sister actually was the one who brought up the idea of, oh, maybe I can send my resume out to my friend who can then send it out to some more people. And if she sends it out to like six or seven places, maybe you'll get something where you can like be, be, uh, be driving coffee, like getting coffee for, for, for a few weeks and just like be in the environment. And that's really what I thought I was going to be doing until I get on the phone and then he's like, oh, we have this project we want you to work on. And I'm like, that's fantastic. But um, so I'd say really what I was looking for was sort of just getting getting in the environment and seeing sort of seeing what it was like, even from an observer's perspective. Um, and except it sort of grew out of that into something that was more engineering focused and that I really enjoyed that. Sorry, I don't know if that answered the question like super directly, but. Uh, what are you going to do? You answered, <laughs> you answered the best way you could, right? <laughs> um, do you have any like side projects you're working on out of curiosity? Um, current, not the very current moment I am, but a lot of the stuff that I do is sort of focused around my school and sort of stuff like that. Cause that's obviously where I spend a lot of my time mm -hmm. during the day where, um, where I'm able to, uh, like see problems that there are. Um, so one of the things that I was working on was sort of like a way for like teachers to like post assignments and kids to like submit, submit their projects sort of online and doing all that online in a way that, um, that existing products that do that, because there are a lot of things that do that. Um, just like there's certain things that, especially like, um, cert, like, um, like there's a computer science class in my school, so like ways for that, for them to sort of like do like automated grading for stuff like that, all on all in sort of one system. Um, so that was a side project that I was working on a little bit ago. Um, sometimes I just like, for a while I was working on um, like the old game Space War, I was kind of trying to like redo that with like a multiplayer thing, but that's sort of, just a lot of small things that I sort of work on just to just to keep up when I get when I get a little bit bored and I have a little bit of spare time. Um, right now, though, during the internship, it's sort of difficult. Like when I'm when I'm uh, programming for ten, eight, eight, eight or nine hours a day to sort of then go home and sort of try to work on something else. But um, there's a few things I have in the in the back of my head that with a few friends I think I'm going to try working on pretty soon. So that should be exciting. Yeah, nice man. I, I'd love uh, when you finish something or you push something out or about to, we can uh, do a follow up interview and see. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Yeah. Uh, what would you say to people that were in similar situations, you know, young, young, uh, young men, you know, let's just say 16 to 18 that mm -hmm. are trying to get into programming? What would you, your advice to them be? I think the one thing that it really takes and um, is just you need, it's not necessarily like it doesn't come easy to everyone. First of all, like definitely I really didn't understand a lot of like the main concepts of programming that are really necessary to um, to sort of uh, be, be, um, be uh, like proficient at it when I first started, and except it's not necessarily you don't have to you have to know that it's not um, you don't need to understand those right away. You just have to sort of work at like sort of working through the techniques and working through the concepts that you're learning. Um, and a big part of that is not just like going on and looking and reading things or watching videos, but it's also um, sort of trying to make a project like the first project I ever tried working on um, I didn't really understand like how like a return statement like why you needed a return statement when everything could just be like a global variable like everything's just up there you don't need anything um, but obviously like that's something that is it's like a very basic computer science concept that like for me at least being in an environment where I'm not in a classroom learning about it it was hard for me to understand but if you're actually like working on projects you're actually able I think to learn sort of some of the concepts that are Pretty necessary that you might not come as easy to you as um, as as they might come to some other people, um, and I think just really sticking to it and not not giving up when you get frustrated is really important for sort of uh, learning how to um, learning learning how to program and learning how to do it in a in a good way. Okay, uh, you said that you're in your um, senior year of high school. I take yeah. it um, you're going to the college. Any any degree in mind quite yet? Um, I think I'm going to be pursuing computer science or some, at least some form of engineering. I also, I'm sort of interested in robotics, so I might do, I don't know exactly what form of engineering I'm going to do, but I think definitely sort of like the, 
the I'm I'm a fan of like the technical sort of nitty gritty. So I think I'm ex I'm excited for like getting some sort of like technical degree. It'd be good. Nice. I, I, that's what I was assuming. I was like, ah, <laughs> I was like, if you get if you hit me with that, uh, I'm gonna be a liberal arts major. I might be a little confused, but uh, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad to hear that. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and support me on Patreon. And if you're looking for additional video material to supplement your learning, go ahead and check out Team Treehouse. And if you're a recent graduate or a current college student looking for part-time work, full-time work, or internships, check out wayup.com. As always, I'll see you guys next time.